Hey guys, and welcome back to Battle Network 6. It's time to get some heal water and save Hob slash Mega Man. Don't you mean Mugu <laughs> Moo? <laughs> Don't mock my <laughs> shitty jokes, okay? They're all I have. Hey, I have my own array of shitty jokes. Don't worry about it. I'm sending a fire themed navy to pick up water in an area filled with aqua themed navvies was not the smartest move, but hey, Heat Man was all we had at the time, so. That's true. This seems more like an Aquaman activity when you think about it. Oh Jesus, here comes trouble. It's always trouble. It's never anything nice like a bouquet in Mountain Dew. <laughs> yeah, just a bouquet of flowers just fucking warps in. Oh, okay. That was less bad than I thought. It's this fucking guy again. I have to one. I believe Circus Man. I'm gonna double check. But I believe Circus Man was actually an original design uh, for one of those contests I talked about where, you know, people could design net navvies. Let me just double check this real fast. Okay. Uh... Oh, he's looking. He's researching. He was originally named Periot Man by his designer. You sure you don't mean Pirouette Man? Pirouette Man. Uh, well, I'm spelling it wrong no matter how, so there you go. It doesn't really say here, so I believe... For now, I'm just gonna assume it's an original designer. But anyway, uh, Circus Man or whatever ain't gonna fight you yet like a real man. And he sends one of his viruses after you. Fortunately, this is simple shit for Heat Man to take care of. They're, like, fairly resilient viruses, though. This took me, like, a few tries to get right. But I've been trying to go for, like, perfect mashes. So, uh, maybe that's just my OCD getting the better of me. Well, I suppose that, um, you know, Circus Man here would have more elite higher class expensive viruses to work with, being a privileged snobby net navvy like he is. Mm, I'm sensing a bit of a hostility though. Just a little bit, I mean, I, I, when you're growing up, you know, you only have like the basic net navvy and everybody's got, oh, we got this cool net navvy, but oh, your PET isn't graphically enhanced enough and we don't make any money and we also don't get cable, come on. Yeah, uh, Meta Beast's fine, okay. He will grow up and become beautiful, let it go. Meta B did some surprisingly rockin' shit in Metabots, man. Like, a lot of the designs I really liked in that series, actually. My favorite was, can you guess? Rokushio? Fuck yeah. Yeah, I mean, he was a good design. I mean, he even had the little cloak thing that Base was doing, but for some reason he made it work better? I don't know. Was he also, like, a, 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 a beetle type, I think? Was he also, like, a Kuagata beetle, you know, type Metabot? I believe he may have been. Let me look that up. He might have been a Hercules. No, no, that would be the other Ark Beetle. He's the Hercules Beetle. Okay, there are a lot of Beetles in fucking Metabots, I realize. Yeah, the prominence. Oh, man. When he busted that out, that was sick shit. Yeah, we like Metabots here at HFC. <laughs> yeah, I seem to recall you used to do something with Metabots a while ago, didn't you? No, I did not. You are lying. You are telling fibs. Oh, oh, we got him the electric joy buzzer water. I'm sorry. Oh, heat man, you incurable prankster. See, this is what happens when you get diabetes the first time. You gotta try and flush it out, but it doesn't really work. Uh, let's see. Kuwagata medal. Uh, do, 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 do. This medal specializes in melee combat, so yeah, I'm gonna assume that's friggin' Rakusha. Okay, and now, now we're starting to get into one of the main features of Mega Man Battle Network 6, and I think a really cool, you know, upcoming upgrade for Mega Man. Oh yeah, that'll work. Let's do it, I so want to see this, like, fully animated in all its glory. Oh come on, this is Capcom in the Game Boy Advance, you know that shit ain't gonna work. Oh, son of a bitch. They just cut to black. I mean, that's so lame. You should have been able to fight him, and then it just doesn't work because he's too rad. Oh, like a desperation kind of battle. Something like that, yeah, like one of those battles you're supposed to lose. Although, to be fair, He-Man did do his best, and he took a lot of damage, but the guy's still standing. I mean, floating. I, I, I guess floating would be, yeah, but the point is, he did a good job, and I gotta give him props for that. We need to get Mega Man, like, a little bed to sleep on. Like, if he stays in this computer, just, like, you know, away from the PET, get him, like, a little bed, get him a little, like, virtual TV, it'd be great! But, but programs or navvies never sleep. They never eat. Well, yes, but they can still Netflix and chill, right? The mind boggles. Yes, I know what that means. 
somebody asked me once when I brought that up. They were like, you don't even know what that means, do you? Yes, I do, honey. I ain't stupid, believe it or not. Oh, the insecurities of a THD. <laughs> On one hand, this Psybeast could kill everyone, but on the other hand, cool superpowers! Cool henshin mode! Yeah, I mean, like, sure, people may have had a problem with that in Battle Network, but I am always up for a really cool henshin sequence. I don't know about you, but that's just, like, the best thing sometimes. For sure, for sure. So, does this power level increase now that he got the healing water from a Corrin? <laughs> Wasn't that, like, the super water or some shit? Yeah, yeah, it was like the Super Miracle Water or something. I haven't really watched a lot of Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z, admittedly. I started with DBZ. I tried to go back to Dragon Ball. It was just a little bit... <sighs> yeah. uh, holy Water or Divine Water. Don't take that as a disparaging comment on Dragon Ball, by the way. I just prefer, like, the Shonen stuff of Z. Personally, I think the original Dragon Ball is better. Don't tell anybody. Well, it's a good job I can't hear people when they whisper. Yeah, very loudly into their microphones to make sure they pop. <laughs> And so he slept the end. He slept for a long time. Oh, without Mega Man to get up, he's never going to be able to get to school. Oh my god, everyone I love has died. It's like the end of Army of Darkness. I slept too long! Uh, I like that image of Danny Sexman where it's like, and then he slept for 40 years. So... You decided to ruin your life by putting a side beast into your body. How do you feel? I feel great. Oh god, the worst kind of side beast, Tony the Tiger. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Daddy.exe. I have the sudden urge for cornflakes, I don't know why. That's... whatever. Fucking cereal pleb. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's go with that excuse. Yeah, you've got to eat, lad. Like, you, you've got to remember to power up the PET, for one thing. The PET in your... Were you making a metaphor? Like, is land a PET as well, but of the physical mind and body? No, no, I'm, he literally needs to be awake, and to be awake and, like, ready to go, you need fuel in your body, and thus you will remember to power up your machines and such. Yeah, don't eat, like, those crappy, like, cheesy battle chip snacks that they make over at Kellogg's, because that stuff is not good for you. I don't know who the fuck makes Doritos, by the way. Who makes Doritos, now that I think about it? Um, well, you asked the weirdest questions on this playthrough. It's rather giving me a run for my money, honestly. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I just try to keep the conversation going. You know my train of thought. It's always been wacky. Okay, now. Now's the good shit, because we get access to the fucking awesome... Beast out ability oh. for Mega Man. It depends based on the version you're playing, but it's basically like a super mode, and it just makes you more rad, you get like a cool new design, and it gives you unique abilities based on that particular beast out. Now, I know he's going to explain a little bit here. I want to uh, just get, you know, what it is uh, here in the wiki, because it does differ uh, based on the Falzer version, so let me bring out that information. Okay, so... Gregor Beast Out basically gets one of my favorite features, by the way. He gets a fucking machine gun buster. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. That's why I like Gregor. He gets a machine gun buster. He gets super armor, which lets him do attacks without, you know, worrying about being interrupted during it. Non-elemental, non-dimming chips gain 30 damage, and the chip charge attack is a double claw slash that hits for 60 damage each, increasing by 10 damage for each increase in buster attack. So he's pretty much like your fucking... Rad, you know, gonna go kill shit everybody. Uh -huh. The Falzer version, he gets a faster gun. It's not a cool machine gun. It just, like, shoots, like, down the entire row. Like, feathers, I believe. Okay. He also gets the very useful air shoes and float shoes, which let him move over every panel, avoiding, like, you know, change panels due to elemental stuff, and if they're cracked and open. Like, Ooh. he can actually avoid that. Yeah, that's actually really useful. Uh, same as before with the rest of it, though, you know? Non-elemental, non damage champs get 30 damage. He also gets a double claw slash that does 60 damage each. And there's some other stuff you can do with it. I don't want to spoil it just yet. Oh yeah, yeah, leave that as a surprise. I think the viewers will really like that if they don't know about it already. There's another thing you can do that isn't so much of a spoiler. Um, you know, because the uh, beast out actually is on a timer, like the soul system previously. And when it's about to run out, or, you know, Mega Man's emotional spate goes nuts, 
uh, when he tries to beast out a can, he'll do something called beast over. You know, say that in your very gratuitous Japanese, if you oh, will. Beast over. He basically goes batshit. He becomes uncontrollable, invincible, jumps around, uses all the chips you have stored up with double attack power, firing the buster. He just goes fucking nuts. But when it's done, uh, he becomes exhausted. Like, all of his stats drop. He loses a lot of health, he can go down to 1 HP as a result, and he can't rechange his emotional state. So that's like your big backup plan, just in case. But you really have to watch out because it's really that kind of desperation button, you know, you want to save for the very last moment. It just looks so cool, I mean, look at him right now. I know, this is, like I said, like, Battle Network 6 is one of my favorite Battle Network games, and it's shit like this, like, just the cool fucking ass stuff you get to do in this game and beast has a huge thing for it i always called it beast mode because i'm a beast wars kind of guy and i think it just sounds a bit more natural you know but it's just like i like it a lot better than falzer stuff even though the falzer beast out has some useful stuff as we've said uh, it looks graceful at least as the falzer beast uh I suppose, but even then it still has that primal quality about it. Although, if you just want pure batshit nuttiness, you know, Gregor is your boy. You know what I'm saying? Then again, I don't really predict anything going wrong with tapping into the power of an ancient cybernetic beast. <laughs> Definitely not. What are you talking about, you silly coop? No, I know, you know, it's just like all those other times Mega Man got incredibly advanced dangerous powers completely fine. Are you running away from that penguin again? I sure hope not. I thought we settled that business. Oh. Okay, we have a location. Hey, no loitering allowed. I'm sorry. You can't even loiter on the internet. That's how bad it is. Oh, sudden change to dramatic <laughs> music. <laughs> that means it's time to go fight a boss, mate. All right, there we go. And now we have a new super awesome power that we can use to wreck his fucking face. Ooh, yeah, that's not going to be a desperation button. That is going to be the wind button. Pretty much is. Like, and I love the effects surrounding it because Mega Man gets like, you know, he goes super saiyan. He gets like the energy shit going around him. It's like, oh, it's fucking go time. Let's do it. <laughs> that's just a manual for the side beast mode. So uh, I guess I'll look at that later. So, did his dad just write that on the side? Is he like a technical writer as well? I mean, it would make sense considering that he's like a scientist. I imagine he would have to write up documents all the time. How to control my digi son's incredibly unstable power. A, do a white paper by Dr. Hikari. My son's a beast. A beast! <laughs> That sounds like the title of something you would buy for really cheap on Amazon Kindle. You know, that kind of shit. Because I'm signed up for, like, some Amazon Kindle book deals, and they they sell, like, the stupidest shit on there. Like, just the wackiest kind of stuff you can think of. Like, real bottom-of-the-barrel bargain books that only show up on Kindle because they're not really good enough to get published. Although, I say this, and but actually when you traditional publish, you really don't make a lot of money unless you're popular. Like, a lot of it goes back to the publishers or the cost of making the book and things like that. So, Kindle uh, is actually a less traditional method. It's independent. You have to control everything. But at the same time, if you can sell enough, you'll actually can make more profit in the long run. So, it's really a pick and choose kind of situation. Sorry, you were saying something about books. I kind of zoned out when education came to the forefront of the commentary. Oh, I'm sorry. If the book isn't available in video game format, you don't care, huh? It's much like with Marvel Comics. Nobody buy The only reason people buy the comics these days is because they made fucking movies out of them first. Did you know that, by the way? Uh, are you, is this, like, fact, or is it your opinion presented as fact? No, this is a, this is actual mess news. Um, recently, as of this recording, I believe it was June 2016, was actually the best-selling month for comic books since, like, December of 1997, back when, you know, the previous huge boom in comic books first started. That's nuts! It's because of the movies, of course, because nobody gives a fuck about comic books otherwise, but there you go. Hmm, it's a shame, because the Archie comic books are pretty rad. Did we... I don't think we've talked about the Archie series yet. Uh, we talked... Uh, no, we haven't. Like, I have actually read some of those. I don't know when you want to talk about them, by the way, because we have a boss coming up, but, you know, whenever you like. We'll save it for another time when there's not much to talk about. I have a question for you. What is it? Die. That's not a question. <laughs> ah, I know it's a declarative statement. It's a joke. I make those. 
How? How can you literally store a side beast? How powerful are you? See how fat he is? That's probably why. He's got enough room for two in there. He was going to take two in there. Look, just because I'm housing a mythical creature inside me right now that gives me the immense powers to continue talking and not be able to stop, doesn't mean that everyone who's fat can do that, okay? That's a vicious stereotype. Is it because I can keep talking and can't stop? Is it because I have the power of a side beast? Maybe. Who knows? Maybe I have Gregor and you have Falzo. No! No! I know you're playing Gregor, but Gregor is my forbidden power, alright? You get the stupid bird that nobody likes. Forbidden! Alright. Circusman.exe. This was the most kerfuffly battle I have had to date in terms of the fucking navvies and whatnot. <sighs> I'm gonna try and explain this as best I can, but first we're gonna beast out because it looks cool and it gives us a bit of pep and a lot of power. He has this attack right here, where he will send like um, you know, his clown hands from the top and bottom of a row. He can just move like left or right to avoid that. Then he's got the animals that come down in rows, and uh, you just move up and down again to avoid that. The circus tent is a really nasty one because if that drops on you, he will attack you and do a lot of damage. Yeah, that's basically like his Shun Goku Satsu. So you really have to watch out for that. I always get caught by the hands whenever I fight this guy. Like I keep dodging up and down on reflex but it comes in throughout the entire uh column yeah so often i will get tagged accidentally i've gotten hit by the top by like once that's not fun by the way so you definitely want to watch out for that kind of stuff we're gonna finish this off with a good old link now we there we go heat man is helping us out even now call it by its proper name tom the cross the prominence okay well th that's not really a huge beam like enough to be the prominence. Now Mega Man Battle Network 4 had a chip that you could basically call the prominence because they fired a fucking satellite laser, so there you go. Well, who cares? He's blowing up, that's all I care about. Boy, it sure has taken me a long time to explode over it. That tends to be traditional in most Mega Man bosses. They take like at least 30 seconds to die. I'm dying now. Bye! Oh, that was dramatic. I did it! I saved the world! Woohoo! Now, I just want to give you, like, a word of forewarning here. When you beat one of the fucking boss, like, EXEs or whatever, there will be, like, areas, like, around where you originally fought them, where if you step on a certain tile, you'll fight a stronger version. I happened to come across the next version of Circus Man, like, during, like, a later part of the playthrough, and he has 1200 hit points. That wasn't fun! Oh yeah, I remember actually doing that back in Mega Man Battle Network 1, where I actually went underneath a bridge and I encountered like a higher level version of Torchman, I mean Fireman. I'm like, holy shit, where did you come from? Because there is no warning whatsoever, so you really do have to be prepared for practically anything. I just like the idea of fucking Fireman jumping out and going, surprise, surprise motherfucker! <laughs> I'm back, bitch! <laughs> uh... I love Black Void, I think it's my favorite Mega Man Battle Network location. Yeah, they probably have more th that more than once. I mean, it's such a popular place to be. Mm-hmm. All the exposition one could long for. Okay, guys, we'll see you next time for more of Battle Network 6.